Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 66. This one is momentous, all right? This is the first return guest, or guests, I should say, uh, for the Interesting Podcast, and it is Derek Arnold and Tom Wilton. They're back, and they're together, and they're so much fun that my face hurt after we got done recording because we just... I mean, you've heard the previous episodes, guys. They're the best. So we uh, we all caught up uh, talking about what they've been up to and everything. And then uh, we we talked a little Jurassic World because they both worked on it. And everyone knows Derek is such a huge Jurassic Park fan. Uh, but we couldn't go too much into it because the day that we recorded this was the day that it came out. Um, and I hadn't seen it yet. But then we talk about, uh, obviously, all their involvement in Solo. The different creatures that they played. And uh, uh, so much fun. So much fun, guys. We covered a ton of stuff. You guys are going to love it. Uh, we covered The Drive-In, obviously, the best YouTube show there is out there. It's great. Uh, highly recommend it. They're hilarious. And they may have teased a little uh, a possible special that might be coming uh, to The Drive-In. But I'm going to stop talking. This is great. It was it was such a good time having them back on. And you guys are really going to enjoy this. So without further ado, here is The Interesting Podcast, episode number 66, with the return of Derek Arnold and Tom Wilton. Theme song time. spend in your lap yeah you did hello hey hey, hey you're both oh. there that saves so much time oh yes you've got the old sort of visual skype thing going on uh you know you know how we do how you guys doing yeah good how are you mate good good doing better now that you guys are here oh yeah hey. oh top pictures on your wall look at those dude you want to see something so oh, yeah, let's see the wall of fame let's see it oh <gasps> Oh my goodness! I love that. I love that sword over the top as well. What's the sword for? And then neat. Yeah, yeah. I did kendo for like almost ten years. So that's my. Did you? Guy. Yeah, yeah. It's all. Did you? It's like super beat up, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, oh Brian. <laughs> let me tell. Let me tell you a story about um about a uh, So uh, a couple of years ago, Derek and I were working on a picture called Life. With, oh yeah, uh, with the Calvin. Calvin. That's it with Calvin, yeah, Calvin, yeah. the crazy creature. I had love of coffee, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so, you know, there were, there were some quite big sort of names on that film, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Ryan Reynolds, and, you know, Rebecca Ferguson, she's really sort of, you know, she's getting there as well. Um, but mm-hmm. but I wasn't geeking out over any of, uh, of those actors. I was geeking out over Hiroyuki Sonata. Oh, my God, he's amazing. Right? He's Who my is favorite absolutely. Japanese actor. He's just he's just incredible. He's a samurai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the last samurai is just it's it's like it's such a guilty pleasure of mine. I absolutely love that film. Same. And, um, Same. and so I ordered I ordered a bokken from um, from Japan. I had it sent over, and then I got one of the um, one of the floor runners to take it to him. And he didn't know who it come from, and so he signed he signed his name what? on bokken for me. What? Um, and then later on. I think it was at the rap party or somewhere. I sort of, I, I sort of timidly kind of approached him. And went, oh, here you Yuki. Um, by the way, uh, the, the Bokken that you signed it was for me. And he was like, oh, amazing. And then we were just geeking out over the Last Samurai. And I was just like, dude, ah, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. What? Top Tom, moment. Stop being cool. All right. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm already like Tom and Derek are the best. But then you're throwing this around. What? Hey, dude. That's I, that's that's definitely that might be a career highlight for me. I think. I have, I no joke, like within arms reach. I have Last Samurai. It's in Do my. You, uh, it is in my top ten favorite movies of all time. I'm not even. It's joking. that scene. It's that scene, Brian. It's the one where they're in the village, and the two children are fighting with the Bokkens, yep. and then Tom Cruise interrupts them, and then he shows you know, up. Yuki comes over, and it's oh, it's uh, just, it's such an amazing scene. It is. Uh, and the whole movie, he's just horrible to him, and then at the end, he gets yeah. his respect. You're like, this yeah. is the best movie. <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's such a great story arc. Oh, love it. Love Same. it. Same. That's well, one that like um, I've got to get flowers. It's so good. I love it. Oh. I, love it. I think it's also because like 
I'm American, so I'm like, maybe I could be a samurai too after watching that movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I love, I love the backstory for Tom Cruise's character as well. I love the fact that he's come right? from the Civil War and that he's sort of plagued by all these demons. And I think, that, I think he, that works really well. And I think he plays that really well in the film. I agree. Um, it's so yeah. good. And then going through withdrawals and the fact that he's living in the house of the of the wife of the guy he killed, and you're like, yeah, what is this movie? So, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's uh, so good. Derek, you've been I'm traveling. A... I have, yeah. Me and Liv, when, uh, what did we do? I went back to Canada for a week to visit some family. Mm-hmm. And then we got back, and then oh, I got back, and then we went to San Francisco for a week, and then Hawaii for a week. How was so, Hawaii? Yeah, it was great. We went to Maui. So nice. we just did, did the whole island. We stayed in like uh, three different places. We did the Hana Highway. Cool. Uh, and then drove to the other side of the island, just chilled out on some beaches. Sweet. It was very relaxed. Never been on like a two week proper like holiday. Sure, sure. I almost went to Maui for my honeymoon, and then we're like, "Don't do that last minute because it's way more expensive." It's so expensive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you you kind of so... have to plan that trip. We we learned. Yeah, we planned ours. I think it was like five six months in advance. That's how you we have just... to do it. Don't do yeah. it three weeks before. Trust me. <laughs> It's, you, you end up going so, on a cruise instead. Uh, <laughs> hey. So we have to stay in person. We have to stay in relations. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm all, I'm all married man now. Look I joined that. the club. Ooh. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah, my, my dad's a jeweler, actually, so he made it. So it's pretty exciting. Oh, hey. so, yeah, there's like a, you're definitely not going to be able to see it, but there's like a little M there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we got oh. that, yeah. Yeah, my wife's name is nice. Monique. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, got to be sweet, That's I guess. Great. But yeah, you uh, you made it to uh, the promised land on the other end, Derek. You went to you went to Lucasfilm. I did, Talk yeah. To me. You, yeah. You're the creature. You're the creature performer that made it past the the other veil. Yeah. How'd it go? Yeah, and how we, long have you like bragged on Tom about it? Not too much. We actually, well, me and Tom haven't really seen each other. This is like we haven't actually. We're, we're going together. through a bit of a rough we're patch. Rough patch. Right. We're, I'm we're, so we're having glad a little you're bit here. of a, Yeah, so uh, I'm really pleased that you could take the time to mediate for us you know, today. How does that make uh, you feel? I really appreciate that. that. <laughs> it's an intervention. <laughs> you're going to need one. <laughs> After this, I'm going to need an intervention. That's um, right. uh, yeah, no, so we, me, yeah, because lately Tom's been working on other, like, we've been working on different projects. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I sent. Uh, I got in contact with the lovely Andy Gutierrez, the best. and um, she she was like, I, I said, well, this is the week I'm coming to San Francisco. I'd I'd love to sort of meet up or chat or just you know if you guys. And she's like, well, a lot of us aren't actually going to be here. Um, mm. uh, and I was like, oh, and I, and then I found out it's because they're going to the Han Solo premiere. Fair. <laughs> I was like, the day before, and I'm like. <laughs> I was like, do I get an invite? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh, like, but it was in LA. In it. It's happening in LA. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, so, uh, like, a lot of them, like, Pablo Hidalgo, Andy Gutierrez, all, all of those guys, They a lot of them weren't in the office because they were at the... Um, the premiere of the movie? I, I met an amazing dude called Lucas Seastrom. Oh, great. Name. And he works at... Uh, yeah, he works at, at Lucasfilm there, and I, he took me and Libby on uh, a three-hour tour of Lucasfilm. What? I, it, it, it's uncanny how much knowledge this 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 man knows about wow. literally everything in the building. You can point to a picture, and he can tell you what it is, where it came from, what movie it was in. Like, like he what? knows. Every, it was so fascinating. So yeah, we got a three-hour in-depth Whoa. tour about the history of of Lucasfilm and the building itself. What? And it's, yeah, it was a really, it was probably like easily one of our top three highlights of, of the whole weeks that we were out uh, away on holiday. Sure. I mean, that's tours that are not open to the public. So well done. Oh yeah. A lot of the in-depth stuff. Yeah. It was really cool. It was really, really, yeah. And he's such a good guy. So, so it was you Lib Lucas and basically an empty Lucasfilm building. Is that it? Give or take. I never saw people. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a truly <laughs> private tour. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's the it was really cool. and then because all of the Star Wars show people were in LA, they weren't in the office, so we just had free reign of the office. There you go. You had a great picture. You're like, I'll hold it down. I was like, 
Yeah, yes. yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> hanging out, just hanging out at Lucasfilm. Yeah, you know. it was a really cool day. As yeah. you do, as you do. You just gotta be like, oh, they're they're at the premiere of a movie I'm in, so you know, yeah, <laughs> kind of evens <laughs> out. <laughs> but that was the thing because I missed the premiere back here in in the UK. I missed this the screening for the cast and the crew because we were on mm. holiday, so I didn't see the movie for like mm. a week and a half after it opened. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I, I mean, like. Everybody had seen it before me, so I was just hearing everything about it. Sure. And it's you lose perspective real easily yeah. when you're when you're working on something so close. So much perspective. He's making it sound like he's the lead actor in That's the right. film. <laughs> Everybody else has seen it, and I hadn't seen it. You know, and yeah, it exactly. was like was, everyone was telling me my performance was amazing, and I was like, <laughs> no, I don't know yet. I haven't seen it. I don't yeah. know. Um, like, I guess I'll wait till like, yeah, you know, I'll wait for the publicist. <laughs> I'll wait That's right. The publicist. You'll get there eventually. You have your private tour of Lucasfilm. You need your private screening of just you yeah. in a theater. Yeah. You're like, let's let's yeah. adore my work now. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. So, Tom, you've been you've been busy. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Good. It's been it's been a, been a sort of a great start to the year. Um, I think I can probably tell you what I've been working on. I think I don't think there's any reason why I can't say that I've been working on it. I'm looking at. I always look to Derek. I'm looking at his charming face I, right now. He's <laughs> giving me he's giving me eyes like I don't know if you should say. A weird one. It is. Yeah, I think you know. Play it safe. Yeah, I, oh, go, go, always safe. go safe. Play it safe. Always go okay, safe. We're gonna go safe. We're gonna go safe. But it's gonna be fun. Uh, so yeah. we've yeah we've just finished sort of delivering um, a series of uh, puppetry and movement requirements on a feature. Um, that I'm really looking forward to seeing the end result. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I guess I guess that'll be out next year? next year sometime. Maybe summer release. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Christmas. It might be yeah, like yeah. Early June release. But um, but when I can tell you. I will. I will certainly uh, make sure to let you know what it is. Um, Sweet. I, yeah. I'm always watching all of your feeds. Anytime something comes up, I'm like, I wonder. Yeah. I wonder. Speaking of, okay, we're we're, yeah. we're we're not gonna we're not gonna spoiler it in this particular mm-hmm. section. But I know because I've seen video of you two. You worked on the new Jurassic World. I don't want to know any details about it because it comes out okay. today. Oh yes! Of oh course. my goodness! Yeah, it has of an course, open chat. It has an open chat. Yeah. And, and that's why I did, I I got you because <laughs> I was oh, first like, oh, oh, yeah. Work. Well, do you know that's you know it's been out here for like two for weeks. About, for about two what? weeks. So it's has, is it is it amazing? No, seriously. It's is been it out amazing? here for two weeks, so it's a really good job you reminded us of that. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, we could just be like, and then this happens, yeah. and then That's this right, yeah. happens. Solo dies. Uh, solo dies. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, he is in the movie. We all know that, right? That's, yeah. that's common. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, but I, I have to ask, did you fall over, Tom? Uh, do you, um, <laughs> you know, actually, do you know what? Did I, you? I, I, almost, I almost did. But in a very, very different capacity. <laughs> so, um, so I, I, I had this weird thing on this on this feature actually, Brian, where um, where the, and there was no uh, there was no sort of no it was like the two hands didn't talk to each other. There was absolutely it was complete coincidence that this that this kind of happened. But mm-hmm. I worked on the on the practical side of the puppetry for the film. Sweet. And I also was very fortunate and lucky to be able to go over to ILM and do a whole lot of motion capture yes, for yes. for the film as well so i i did a number of a number of the dinosaurs actually a number of the, of the sequences uh that you'll see when you when you go and see it um uh and the mocap stuff is just incredible because you know you're in a room surrounded by kind of you know polystyrene boxes that have got dots all over them and you're you know basically pretending to be a dinosaur and running around the place and going ah! And smacking yeah. Thing. yeah, there was, there was some. Yeah, yeah, they literally. So there were a few moments there where, yeah, I, I, I nearly fell over. I was jump, like jumping off of quite high things down onto crash mats and stuff. And what? Um, I, I kept it together. I didn't fall over this time. I That's didn't fall over. That's a professional time. That's what I like yeah. to hear. Yeah, I've, I've learned from my past mistakes. That's right. Was... <laughs> That's a reputation that follows you. You know, yeah. it's like, is that God, is that a Lillian so... Sternis that fell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A minute. I've heard There's about a... this. <laughs> Spoiler, spoiler alert, there's no Lillian Sternis in, in Fallen Kingdom. Well, I'm not going to see it now, so thanks. No. At, least I don't, at least I don't think there is. I don't know. <laughs> My interest just completely dropped. So. <laughs> but we had, but we, had such, uh, we had such a good time on that, didn't we? Yeah. Derek, oh my yeah. you worked on oh, Jurassic Park. 
I you couldn't stop hugging. I couldn't stop hugging the dinosaurs. I know because we were filming that. solo at the same time, yeah. and there were days where yeah. we would be running from because it was yeah. all filmed at Pinewood. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'd be running between sets. It'd be like you're you're doing solo in the morning, and and then you're sort of running over and seeing what's happening in the afternoon on Jurassic Park, and the next day you'd be on solo, and then the next day yeah. you'd be on Jurassic Park. It, yeah, it's completely surreal, and it sounds com- bonkers when you say it out loud. Yeah, but yeah, to be able it, to, it was, to it was amazing. The, well. Yeah, the lottery ticket to do both of those movies at the time is like yeah. <clears throat> and in, in a sort of similar way, you know, you know, um, we've spoken to you before about you know that moment on a Star Wars set when you suddenly go, oh my goodness, this is real. We're here <laughs> Star Wars. Um, we had that moment with uh, Fallen Kingdom as well. Mm-hmm. It was the first day, I think, first day of principal photography. And we're all in there really early, kind of setting up the tents and things. And uh, I wasn't there you for this. You weren't there for this. <laughs> um, you were in your I own did, trailer. I, I, literally, te- tears in the eyes. And so, without, you know, we were just kind of, you know, going about the business of setting up and getting ready for the day ahead. And then just kind of very, very quietly, which and it sort of gradually got louder and louder over the PA, they started to play the Jurassic Park music. Oh. And you could just see everyone just kind of stopped and just kind of looked around at each other at this moment where they were like, oh, we're doing Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, it kind of, yeah, it was one of those kind those of, audio, yeah. The sound guys were great because when we did some stuff, um, well, you know that there's a T-Rex in the movie. That's not spoiling that it. That is in the well, trailer. It, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, there, yeah, there's lots there is, of trailers. There's lots of trailers. There, there, there is yeah. a T-Rex confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Confirmation. So the T Rex when when the when the T Rex was moving about and everything like that, the sound guys would take they took the original T Rex sound from from the the Jurassic Park the first one, Whoa. and so when the T Rex roared, they played it throughout the whole studio, and it just reverberated in your lungs, mm. and it was like, oh, yeah. we're just under set like completely. I was just like just screaming my head off oh, that's one of the things that i thought was the was was one of the most effective techniques used on that particular <clears throat> shoot was the use of sound because sure. they, they blasted out these amazing dinosaur sounds and it would you know it would reverberate in your chest wouldn't it it was yeah. that loud you it wouldn't was, have to pretend no you didn't have to pretend it was te- it was terrifying so i think you know so that kind of stuff i think you'll when you see it you'll see you know i think that the the reactions of Bryce and Chris and and the young actress, I think, are you know that's, that's all kind of genuine. Like they are, they're terrified, aren't they? In those moments, yeah, yeah, Dude. really good. It looks good. And then when I found out Neil Scanlon did the dinosaurs, I was like, oh, so there's real mm-hmm. dinosaurs now. And then there was a yeah. behind the scenes thing that I saw you guys, and yeah. that's when I was like, guys, guys, we need to talk. <laughs> and what? What's going on here? They, they have yeah. the raptor on the table. And then the uh, puppeteers like made it bite at Neil, and he's like, "Oh, all right, okay, that's happening." And I was like, "They got the guy that made it. That's good." Yeah, 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 yeah. And so once they got savvy to that particular trick, <laughs> then it was it was like it's then on. they wanted to do it for everyone. So we'd be like we'd be like down underneath that thing, kind of just hanging out, and then all of a sudden we'd get like quick, 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 and we'd have to rush <laughs> because the producers would have brought in someone to sort of you know, and then we'd all have to run under there and get ready, and then you know, and sort of pretend that the raptors sort of just just completely dormant and then you know as they got closer just whoosh, and they, like snap at them and then they'd be screaming and cheering and laughing. everyone loved it it was a great party trick wasn't it we had to do it all the time what was it? we did that more than we shot in the no, actual didn't. film didn't we <laughs> <laughs> Derek's just reminded me so his first so the first uh, the first sort of uh, stuff that we shot together yeah. on Fallen Kingdom was was blue on the table okay cool uh, that, that scene with with blue the raptor in, in the sort of the back of the truck mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> so there's so uh there, there's quite a few of us i mean it was, honestly brian one of the most extraordinary puppets that that i've ever worked with it was it was incredible i mean the Pete way hawkins and andy calhoun, andy calhoun. and a host of oh, other sort of amazing yeah. talented um Indeed. Uh, sculptors, mechanics, engineers, everyone that worked on that fabricators to create to create that, um, and it and it not only did it look fabulous, but it had so many moving parts. So the head that you see that can kind of lift up and snap, animatronics and the eyes, like pumping jugular, like you can move, like pump, the heart pulse. You know the, uh, the 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 breathe. We had the ribs that could sort of expand and contract. You know the the front. There was a shoulder in the front arm, the claws. It was so the tail. There were so yeah. many moving parts. There was there were loads of us underneath there. Kind of um, bringing this, bringing this thing to life, and so we're we're stuffed up inside there, really, really tightly packed in there, mm-hmm. and it's Derek's it's Derek's first time time in there, and uh, and they brought this, and he, 
they brought the producers some you know producers brought someone in there to have a look we, you know went in there very quickly sort of made this thing kind of work and then there was a kind of silence and i let over with derek and i went well you really messed that up didn't you <laughs> <laughs> He just went, and literally, he like had this completely visceral reaction. He just went, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Like, really, really seriously. And then we burst out laughing. No, I didn't. That is a great yeah, Derek he impression. Really that up. <laughs> yeah. You'll see it in the film. He really, he really messes it up. Yeah. Like, there's that's... that one I'm walking rat, out. If it hits me the wrong like, way, I'm out of there. <laughs> what is going on with that one part of the raptor? The arm's floating. What is it? <laughs> The irony of the shirt now, Derek. The irony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That is amazing. And then I can't have you guys on and not talk about the drive in because you both know yeah. number one fan right here. And uh, the last we are episode. So, so great support. <laughs> the last we episode have... you guys did, I've well, watched probably four best... times the, to... the War Horse special. Um, it was the War Horse one, wasn't it? Oh, goodness, we need to do We're yeah. so far behind. We're so far behind. We need oh, to I know. Really... That's why I have We're you on the spot right now. Uh, last week I was looking at Tom and I was like, "Dude, we <laughs> we have a solo. Um, we have a solo special. Yeah, because we when we went I to just, you just yeah. again. I'd forgotten again. When we went and you to remind me again. We went to Fort Aventura for two weeks yeah. to do the location shoot for Enthis Nest. Yeah, all yeah. of that stuff yeah. out in the the hills there in the mine, like on the um Dude. her sort of. That was in Fort Aventura for two weeks, and we filmed going out there. Obviously, nothing on mm. set." And mm-hmm. it was more of our journeys every day, but I mean, like it's so far. But we still like the thing is, is we have to edit it. We have to get it approved by Lucasfilm. Like it might not ever see. It might never see. Yeah. But we should do that. We should. We should, we should edit it I, together. I've totally forgotten about that one. I think we forgot about it halfway through as well. Yeah. Like, oh, we're really? so bad. We're oh, so bad sometimes. Yeah. Typical guys. But there are so many episodes where we haven't edited it yet. There's at least yeah. ten episodes. There's a lot from that time. Yes. Dude, oh, that... I don't know how many. I don't know how much of it's going to be usable. <laughs> only... <laughs> it's actually, yeah. yeah. You have ten episodes. Only half of one is going to be usable. But... Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, dude... we need to we need to really cut down the content. You know, we're being strict with ourselves. That's right. That's right. I mean, I disagree. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is more to come with uh, the so, uh, the driving. Yes, good. Good. Because that that last one was so uh, funny. Like Tom, you're allergic bit. to horses. That is the best thing ever. Because yeah, a horse. <laughs> What was that? Hey, we've got. Hey, we got. We got a better one for you. Oh, oh Brian, a better one for you. We have got a better. We've got a better one for you. So, um, so at the beginning of the year, we took on. We took on a job, um, for. Oh no. <laughs> for a for a flea treatment brand, um, over here in the UK, right? And this uh, this fantastic special effects company, um, Artem, built this sort of plus size, King Cavalier. Charles Cavalier, King Charles, King Spaniel? Charles, King Charles Cavalier, Cavalier Spaniel. Spaniel, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was a one-person suit. Okay. Uh, we were sort of performing it in rotation, uh, on arm extensions, sort of animatronics in the face. It was in, it was an incredible, was incredible like looking thing. Eight foot tall. It was huge. <laughs> it was huge. And the the marketing campaign for this was to take it to um, a dog show here in the UK called Crufts. All right. Now, in the, I, I just didn't like. I was like, yeah, cool, okay, we'll do that. Great, brilliant. So you know, we're going. You know, we're going through the stages of having this thing built. <laughs> and, you know, getting in it and sort of, you know, walking around in it, consulting on the build. So, okay, it's getting closer to the time. And then about sort of two days before we're due to travel to Birmingham to the NEC where they have this huge dog show. So it occurred to me that I'm like highly allergic to dogs. <laughs> and. And then, and then we, so we then we find ourselves in this arena with thousands and thousands of dogs in an, in an enclosed area. And I was just like, perfect, why, perfect. why didn't I think about this? Why, why didn't I think about the fact that I'm about to have a massive allergic reaction and fall down dead on the ground? Like it was. And we were there for four days. Four days. For four days. They had this, Brian. They had this carpet in there, right? So when we first went there, they'd laid down this pristine green carpet. It was a really bright. Green yeah, carpet. industrial, like really heavy, really duty, sort of heavy yeah. duty carpet. Mm. By the end of those four days, oh, this no. green carpet was yellow. 
<laughs> like so many dogs so dark, had relieved themselves on this carpet so that it had gone yellow. from green to yellow. It was, it was, it was, and so much yapping. Like I've oh never, I've never, I've never known such a cacophony of of just <laughs> yeah. like pointless yapping. Just and I'm not, like, like I'm not even a pet. And like I didn't even think I pet one dog in the four days we were there. Nope. Mm. No, well, you, I didn't. I certainly didn't. <laughs> I mean, we saw some impressive dogs. Yeah. I mean, there was some, there were some there amazing, some really different amazing species, dogs, yeah. yeah. But and some beautiful dogs, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but wow, that was. I didn't think that one through. So uh, yeah, so that made that made the whole sort of you know Bradford trip to meet the police horses. It kind of paled in, yeah, in the, significance. Yeah, the historical city of Bradford is that the one you're uh, talking about? Yeah. Historic, <laughs> new, historic city of Bradford. I, I learned so I much. Learned so much <laughs> so good so good oh man we're gonna do we're gonna do some more aren't we we're gonna do yeah. some more I'm, yeah i'm excited to see if that solo special gets uh gets approved but speaking I'm of great. segues yeah. solo mm. you, mm. you gentlemen worked worked on a great movie mm. called dabbled solo. in it you dabbled a little bit of dabbling on derek's part but tom the real Glad star you enjoyed it uh, yeah. yeah how mm. uh so so give me the rundown who played what Okay, so um, what did we do? <laughs> so, see, the thing about solo is it's, it's, it's a tricky one because, um, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, um, and we won't I, we won't go into too many details because I don't think that would be professional to do that. But of course, you know, don't know that, we don't know anything really. I mean, it would be it would be sort of unfair to speculate. Um, yeah. But but you know, as I'm sure you've you've read or seen on on you know the news that was out at the time, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't the most straightforward of shoots. Let's put it sure. that way. Um, so. So there was a lot of kind of chopping and changing, wasn't there? Yeah. There was lots of things that were reshot and some things that we weren't sure that were going to go in, some things that did. There yeah. were some surprises. Well, I think that's um, like with any movie, right? You, yeah, it's you true. You really don't it's ever true. know what's going to make it. I mean, because there are reshoots on any movie we've ever worked on. There's always been reshoots. Yeah, that's course, just always. A part it's just it. part of it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, think, sure. I think it's a weird thing when people panic, like you hear like on the internet and people are like, oh, they're doing reshoots. It's like, well, every, yeah, movie. every feature film does reshoots because... You know, if you have a theater, show, you open up a theater, you know, a Sean theater, mm. you have three weeks of previews before the press are even allowed to see it. And right. in those three weeks or four weeks or two weeks, you change the show as much as you can according to audience reactions. You go, OK, let's try and change that out because you can. Right. In film, the minute you print all of that, that's it for life. Mm. So yeah. I think once a film is being the principal photography is done. They go back and they look at it and they, they test some stuff out and they go, okay, we need to reshoot that stuff. So I always find it really weird when people mm. on the internet speculate because if you go into reshoot, something's wrong. It's like, nothing's wrong. Agreed. That's just normal. Yeah, oh, that it's, is completely, very, it's very standard. And, and, and so helpful and useful as well. Yeah. And really beneficial. I mean, hey, look, I mean, think about The Last Jedi. I mean, some of, like, you know... Uh, I mean, I suppose, like, of the, of the small background stuff that I did, some of the most concentrated uh, uh, sort of appearances, if you like, mm -hmm. were from the reshoots of Last Jedi. Really? So we did, like, a day, didn't we? We did a day over at Leavesden, actually, Leavesden Film Studios, reshooting yeah. some stuff there. And and I had my kind of snake man, uh, Edmo Ectical character, in the back of the shop with John Boyega, and then you're cut, cutting almost instantly to Derek and I, a label master, kind of whipping, whipping oh, yeah, the Thalia, yeah. you know, and that was then that was mm -hmm. all shot in that in the, on that reshoot reshoot day, wasn't it? Yeah, was all done that really? day. because they came back. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, Ryan had gone back yeah. and watched the footage, and he was like, "Just we just need another appearance. We just need it. Just needs to. You realize that it actually needs to fill out a bit more. Yeah, time, and be time nice to have this moment." Yeah. Yeah. really solidify this character you know for sure and really yeah so um but yeah things you know shifted a lot a little, on, yeah on solo, yeah but uh so we did so what do we do so so well i'm i'm i said one of our business endeavors together was the crab droid we call it the crab droid, mm. we call it the crab droid. now we don't know if it'll wait ever... a second crab yeah, droid yeah. yeah, there's we, no official name. It's not in the dictionary. It's not in the dictionary, is it? We don't know. I mean, one day it, it may it may see the light of day. It may be given a name, or we, mm. I, we don't know. But um, it was there's snippets of it. There, yeah, there's like two snippets of it. Yeah. And the interesting thing with the crab droid is, is um, we did a lengthy fitting for it. So it's a, a sense, essentially it's me and Tom mm -hmm. face to face, but sort of um, uh, sort of 
almost bent over holding each other's shoulders. Which really. is which is awful. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you know, like when I when I do sort of you know suit work with Derek, I, I like to have him sort of where I can't see him. That's that's how I <laughs> on your back to work. In a great yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> like, exactly. Like holding me from behind. That's right. you know. <laughs> in the comfort area. <laughs> You can't deny. That's you right. can't deny that's what was there's, happening. There's record, Gosh, Derek. Derek. There's record. You know, uh, you know so this time around, I had to, yeah. I had to, I had to look we're at him for the other. entirety of it, you know, which is and, disconcerting at the best of times. Yeah, so we're faced with each other with this shell over top of us yeah. and walk with our feet turned out, walking one way or, you know, forwards or backwards. Yeah. Hence why they think so, a crab droid. Yeah, huh. it had that kind of crab. Like crab-like movement, and I think it's 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 original purpose. It was repurposed for the exterior of the mines, wasn't it? But its yeah. original sort of function was it was on Mimbam, and it was a um, it was an imperial sort of uh, like pack horse. Essentially, the idea was that they could load provisions or weapons or tools onto this thing, and it would just move through the battlefield and and take stuff from from one place to the next. And we had, a, I mean, that initial shoot, we had a lot of fun with it, didn't we? Because they put, like, squibs and pyrotechnics. Yeah, we were, we were getting blown up. Yeah, we were getting shot and blown up and wicked. falling over. We, it, was, it, was, it was... I was like, we, so, uh, we, I don't know why, because there was a lot of mech inside, but there was a Sharpie inside, a marker. <laughs> so you could they, write and, help. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said to Tom, I said... I wrote a lot of yeah, things. A I said, lot of things. I'm going to do a tick. <laughs> For every camera take we do, yeah. So for every time we do a camera take, not rehearsals or anything like, and not not camera rehearsals. For every take we commit to film, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little tick. Mm-hmm. And we it was this ongoing thing. So over the the month shooting, I just kept taking away. And you see it in the movie, and it just sort of gives you perspective. You see it in the movie for I would say maybe three seconds, maybe five tops. Yeah, you see it in you see it in the. In the battlefield on Mimban, briefly, briefly, like just the top of it, top of it, yeah, yeah. As uh, it's kind of behind all this, yeah. he's walking through that little that little trench area. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. It kind of yeah. like goes down you know, he, for a yeah. second when uh, yeah, yeah, he's following Woody Harrelson. That's you guys. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? And you see it briefly, and then you see it briefly the in the, mines. and that's it in the exterior of the mines. Yeah. And so, if you put that the, the, those two take, I think the total number of ticks we had were close to just over four hundred. Oh, <laughs> camera over, takes, isn't it? over 400 camera takes yeah good and so it gives you perspective of like yeah how much you can put into something sure just fill out the world yes just to make yes. it that much fuller yeah we did over, uh, just over just on that just on that character wow. just over 400 takes yeah yeah good so, lord somewhere in the lucas <laughs> lucasville market is yeah. this shell a droid, yeah, with just ticks. Six, like, ticks. <laughs> like somebody's been in prison for years. That's amazing. And it was, I mean, and you know, it kind of felt. I mean, the great thing about that particular set was that, again, you know, we were referring earlier on to sort of, you know, making lives easier for actors, making it more believable. I mean, mm-hmm. that set was mm. like being in a war zone, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, every set, it all was, of the it sets. It was extraordinary. Like the, it, it was, they had this kind of grey psych. It was on the uh, the 007 stage, which is massive. Oh, the bomb sweet. Set at Pinewood, which is huge. Oh, um, the Mimbam set. The, the oh, Mimbam set, goodness. yeah. And they had this, this grey psych that kind of went right the way around sort of, I think, three sides, three sides of the stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they were pumping in all this kind of dark atmos. And the floor was made out of this incredible kind of soft kind of like gray or rocky, rocky dirt. kind of dirt. Yeah. So, and, and it's the size of like two football fields or yeah. a football and a half. Jeez. Like it's massive. It's massive. And, and they you, filled the whole The space. whole thing. And you, you literally, wow. you, you couldn't see about two meters beyond your nose. Really? It was, it was, yeah, the acne, it was that sort of dense. And then of course you had all these, um, Mud troopers running about the place and all these explosions going on. Oh man, off. it was it, so cool. It was crazy, wasn't it? It was, it, me- yeah. and they had the um, the walker. They had this massive oh, walker yes. like collapsed. What? And- yeah, yeah. Because I think weird. there's. Uh, I don't think it. I don't think it made the final cut, did it? But there was there was this gr- where Tandy Newton yeah. jumps on top of the walker and starts firing the firing the Gatling yeah. gun or something. Oh, that, that, some that, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was some really cool stuff on. It there. was really yeah. It was a really really cool. All of the sets were really cool. There was a day where. Um, we were uh, filming on another scene, and um, yeah, we've been at Pinewood now for about five years, and we, you know, we had production passes. Not not everybody gets them. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And we went into the one stage where they had the Millennium Falcon. Oh yeah! And 
yeah. for this movie, they built the Millennium Falcon. You could walk up onto the ramp, and you could walk through the whole mm. Millennium Falcon through what? into Lando's into Lando's room, mm. into you know where they're playing chess, mm. up into the cockpit. Because they really expa- in that film, in this film, they really yeah. expanded that, didn't they? Yeah. You saw. I don't think we've ever seen the the sort of the, the captain's quarters before inside the Falcon, have we? I don't think. No, I, don't I don't think, think so. We saw, didn't we on this one? We saw like yeah, Lando's his kind of... cape room and yeah, everything like that. Yeah. And like, Dude. you know, they've never built a Falcon like that before. No. But it was, um, it was me and Tom. Me and Tom sat in the cockpit of the Millennium <laughs> Falcon for like five minutes. Nobody was there. Yes. Nobody. And we were just sat there going, oh, oh. this is. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And then we got it, and then you know, just shooting on it as well. And, and then, like, and then we had a massive argument because, because <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'm Han Solo," and he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. "No, no, 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 you're Chewbacca to my Han Solo," and I was like, "No, let's think about this." Okay, with that beard and hair, you're that... definitely Chewbacca. With Ooh, this hair, he's got, he's definitely... got you there, Tom. <laughs> I am definitely Han Solo. This, if you grew a beard, you would look like a Wookiee. What? Ooh, you know what? There's only one so, way to know for know, sure, actually, guys. Beard off. Actually, that tie, it's, oh, yeah, this this, this ties in, Fatima and Shrek. Yeah. Perhaps uh-huh. the longest that I, the closest he's ever had to a beard yeah. is when we were shooting in Fatima and Shrek. It was like playoff. It was like uh, hockey playoffs. I didn't shave for the two weeks we were out there. Yeah, hey, there you go. I tell, tell you, it looked good. Yeah, it looked, I believe it. I've always known Eric had potential. You yeah, know, just... I get, and then I got home and I kissed my wife and she was like, shave. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like, about right. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and it had to go. I mean, yeah. Han Solo um, never a... has a beard on screen, so yeah. I mean, playing devil's advocate here, Chewie's pretty yeah. cool too, Tom. You know. Yeah. Whoa, 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 guys! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is not decided. We haven't decided that I'm Chewbacca. That's true. Okay, I'm... let's not. Let's okay. Let's. Do you know what? I think we should just move on. Guys. Just... <laughs> it's fair, just so that all the Star Wars people know. Tom hates Chewbacca. Uh, <laughs> what? You know, we can't Gar- go that far, but we can say that Garrett has just outed me. It would not be. It would, <laughs> it would not be I... a stretch to think I would be allergic to Chewie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know? that's true. That's a good point. Do you know what? Though I can tell you, I have had a hug with Chewie, and uh, I, I wasn't, I wasn't allergic mm. to Chewbacca for some reason. Nobody is allergic to Chewbacca. That's why. You know, no. That's beautiful. No. So you were a crab droid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we did the crab droid. We did um, some animatronics on. So yes, uh, wonderful creature performer Stephanie Silver um, played one of the Emphis Nest gang. Nice. Uh, the sort of uh, I, I haven't had a chance to look at the visual dictionary and know whether or not her character's gone in, but mm-hmm. she's got these kind of wonderful almond shaped eyes, kind of green skin, these fabulous kind of horns that come around here. Oh yeah. Um, oh, you're right. They come. Sorry, they come down there. You're right. They kind of they come down about. like yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So, um, so I was, yeah, fortunate enough to be kind of uh, mucking about with the animatronics on the on the face of that one. Um, and then I did some R and D and was going to be one of the stilt walking droids oh. in the exterior section of the mines, mm. where obviously there's the there's the droid revolt, and we have that huge kind of battle sequence there. Um, and Neil and his team sort of based upon actually uh retrofitting big red from the force awakens oh. and building yeah and building two new stilt walking droids to go with that sort of droid uh there were going to be three of these things now i don't know if they if they saw i'm not sure if they had any screen time yeah. or anyway so i did the r&d for that and uh they they fitted it around me and then we then we had that hiatus Mm-hmm. where the two original directors left and, and Ron Howard took over. And I was on board for about two weeks after Ron took over. And we were shooting the exterior of the mines at that point. But then after that, I then had to step across to work on the Fantastic Beasts sequel. Right, right, right. So then I, so then I was, at that point, I stepped on solo and I didn't do anything more on it at that point. Um, and our friend and colleague, Neil Holmes, took over the that particular stilt walking joy but again i i'm not sure if they saw if they got any screen time or yeah, not. I don't um know. but they, they were they were great they were they were a lot of fun to be involved in um 
Do you know what? There's every chance, Brian, that I probably would have fallen over. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> <laughs> Harley, mean, given your well, history, Harley, the stunt performers that was doing, one, yeah, given my history, <laughs> Harley, one of the stunt performers that was doing one of the other walking droids, had this absolutely incredible action sequence where the guards on the exterior of the mines are kind of running and trying to kind of kind of wrangle him and kind of, and he's got these, his particular droid had this these two kind of arms and he's kind of swinging them about, and I believe at some point during the course of that action sequence he took a tumble so if if, if, a, if a stunt guy is going to go down in one of those things what chance did i, I have <laughs> that's right so I think it's, it's probably quite fortunate that uh that, that i sort of stepped away to um yeah He's, he saved you it's a fantastic beast instead yeah and Derek not had all over fantastic beast is it you know no, no. <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah. and then i know i know Derek had a had a great great character yeah, you know, six uh, eyes. You were, yeah. you were six eyes. Yeah, I, I was really it. lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was oh. really, really lucky. Such a great, like, such a great Mac and build. How how Who was built? that on you? Did, where where were you in him? Uh, <laughs> 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 you heard me. I'm not taking it back. <laughs> it's it's early that. where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it's just a regular, uh, well, not your regular uh, Mackie head, but uh, so I was looking out of his right nostril oh okay so yeah the whole thing yeah. was on top of your head typically yeah it was on top of my head so i had about a half inch to yeah just under half an inch of of viewing of sure. <laughs> viewing viewing of space to see which doesn't sound like a lot but when you have nothing it's everything it's, yeah fair i remember your story <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah. so you know. but it was a heavy head it was a. Uh, I mean i would reckon it was around like eight pounds Wow. Um, yeah, it was mess. It was like one of the most advanced heads they've ever built. Uh, had over fifty servos in it, like fifty motors. Wow. Each uh, eye was movable. Each eye, yeah. So what? What the whole system was is it? Um, it had tracking system in the head. So if I moved my head left, right, up, or down, all six eyes would follow that, so really? that it wasn't they weren't left mm. or looked robotic. Like it had a natural organic movement to it. Wow. So no matter where I moved my head, the, the, the system inside would track where I was looking and moving. Um, then there were two uh, two lovely men on behind the camera, Matt Denton, who pretty much programmed. Mm. The, the, he was also one of the fathers of, of BB-8. Mm. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. So Matt Denton controlling the eyes. So each eye could move individually or separate so you could have five eyes looking when one eye looking this way you could have two eyes looking that way three eyes looking this way wow. so he had control over to override the system and another lovely amazing puppeteer named uh, uh rich, coombs. rich coombs yeah um nice. yeah an amazing man and yeah. so the two of them so coombs was doing a lot of my facial features and and uh lips and and, and all of that and uh denton was doing the eyes um so it was an amazing uh uh, sculpt and just it's one of the, the i think it's yeah. probably the most advanced head that i've ever seen you look at it and you it, just think like oh that's cg and none of it was like, i did so when, that. It probably yeah, yeah, when derek was filming it so i was at the monitors watching when when, they were, when we were shooting to back and i was at one of the monitors and there were people gathered around like it, the, just shooting exercise drew like people from all over the kind of the back of the sound stage people were suddenly drawn to the monitor and were, I was hearing all these conversations around me from different sort of crew people. They were going, they, they didn't, they couldn't understand what they were watching. They, they were like, hang on a second, is this being filmed live? Are we watching? It, it moved with such fluidity, yeah. didn't it? That that it, it almost looked as though it, it had some kind of enhancement. Put, yeah, put I, on, I thought it was CG, especially the one yeah. eye looking over at Hans' car. I know, right? Oh, Just that's practical. That's all practical. That's I mean, completely practical. practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude. And that's a hard, like it was a, it wasn't the easiest one. I was so happy sure. I was down. Um, <laughs> but it meant, cause the coat I was wearing as well, they flew it in. Our, I think I want to say I might be completely making this up. They got it from Russia, so, so it was it, nice. and I was in a fat suit, a little bit of a fat suit. <laughs> this, is one of, this is one of my favorite sort of thing. This is one of my favorite things about this about that about that back sequence was that was that you know we you know when you see the final film you kind of you see that they're you know they're in this snook hat mountain right. and you know the actors the actors walk into this 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 sort of gambling den bar and gambling den and of course what do they do naturally they take they take their coats off <laughs> 
every single creature performer yeah. in that entire <laughs> still had their costume. so they were wearing so they, like so not only did so they have like fat suits and like you know like sort of uh plaster oak kind of sections to beef out the costume and, yeah. and then you've got the animatronic they were also wearing like like a, a, a winter coat about this thick yeah <laughs> on top of it. I mean, like, it's like by it the end of it, it, I mean, everyone was just so, so hot. hot. And you're like, under studio lights. They, I could film for two hours, and they had to take the head off to cool it down because, like, the the motors were heating up too much. Sure, but they're also shoving sure. ice packs down my back oh, wow. just to cool my core temperature down. But uh, the coolest thing I'll tell you about, um, if you don't mind me, I'll tell you about Sabac. Was that we had a three day Sabac school? Mm. I heard. Um, yeah, so at the beginning of the shoot, they they uh, invited uh, myself and a couple of other puppeteers that were around the table. Um, Andy Heath, who was doing Andy Heath, Claire, Roy Harvey, and Lynn Robertson Bruce. I want to say we're doing Therm Scissor Punch. Okay. Oh, that was the next question. And, yeah, Andy Heath, uh, who one of the puppeteers on the Twins. Nice. Um, uh, was only, uh, oh, sorry. No, uh, Ollie, 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 Ollie and Ollie and, Ollie, 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 yeah, and Ollie so, were the twins, yeah, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, so, uh, but Ollie was there yeah. for the Sabak stuff. <clears throat> Andy was there, myself, Kieran Shaw, yeah. um, nice. Alden and Donald and Jonas. And we had three days. Just They brought us into a studio. There was nothing in the studio. It was not to learn lines or characters. They sat down at a table and learned to play Sabak. You can learn to play Sabak in about a half hour. So after a half hour, we all knew how to play Sabak. So then the next two and a half days we just chatted and played poker for for eight hours a day That's it was so it cool. was <laughs> it was so random but really cool because we got to refine the rules of our game sure on how we were we were going to play sabak in, in our way and it's a really fun game like it's an incredibly fun game and it really you just sort of learn like by the third day you're just trying to figure out how to cheat <laughs> and, scam, and scam everyone but yeah, it was a really cool scene, to, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool character. I really lucked out. Were you mm-hmm. were you also him? Because I remember the first alien we ever saw for Solo was Six Eyes in that little like I think it was Philip Lord who's like, "Hey, what's going on over here?" And then he yeah. goes to Six Eyes, and he's like, oh. "I was like, what was yeah. that? Was that yeah, you? yeah, 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 yeah?" They brought me over from set yes. where they were shooting. That was on the set where they were shooting the train. The train heist. Sweet. So they were doing the train heist stuff, but so we were trying to fit that in between doing the train. I think during a lunch break. Yeah, we shot it really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was, yeah. That was early days. Yeah. You, yeah. Were the, you were the first, Eric. Well done. You ushered in the solo creatures. Yeah. Nice little six eyes. But it was a beautiful. <laughs> but that's the thing. It was just a. It was a beautifully built piece of um, art. Really. It was sure. Lovely. And that, I think that's why. Um, a lot of the people fell in love with it. Yes, yeah. because because it was just amazing. I who, agree. who does that? Um, um, uh, Martin Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say he. Say it again for me. Just... Martin. Martin. <laughs> the yes. correct pronunciation. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I I'm sorry. I want to be able to back you up. I, I, I want to have the answers, but I don't. I'm usually afraid. we pride ourselves um, on knowing who, because the, the unsung here, people who never get the credit. Yeah. Usually we pride ourselves on knowing that information. And, uh, I'm about, and you've just let yourself yeah. down. Oh. Big style. Oh. You know. This is over. over. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> oh, dear. Martin, we apologize. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, every, every yes. time. You Any Martin, that's how it needs to be, be like, pronounced. Yes, yeah, so which, which, who, who designed that one, Derek? Martin. Yes, Martin is going to now be the name we give to everyone that we forget. We'll be like, yes. I'm really sorry. It was only Martin. Martin. <laughs> oh, Martin. <laughs> 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 That's going to be my go-to answer now. Ryan, can you uh, edit this part out for us, please? <laughs> I mean, I can, but I won't. But you won't. It's there forever. Just kidding. I really can if you want. So you were you were six eyes. You were a crab droid. What what else did you What else did you work on? Did you do What else did we do? So. Uh, we're, we're used to we're used to edit cuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've seen the drive-in. With the drive-in, with the, drive-in the yeah. amount of times we just have to be like, whatever's it be speaking, and then we'd stop and go, nope, we, <laughs> nope, nope, we can't say that. We definitely can't say that. Yeah. And, <laughs> In Spain, you're like, um, on our way to Emphis Nest. Ah, uh, damn it, move back. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. right. So what else did we work on? 
uh, oh, uh, I did this character in uh, Emptis's Nest. Emptis oh, yes, 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 you did. That's oh, right. Yes. Sweet. Because yeah. the same character that was uh, that Tom did that, that was the the face that you did in Emphis Nest. That's right. Yeah, that's why you were in Fort Aventura with us. <laughs> that's why I, we were together in Fort Aventura because you were doing Stephanie's. Yeah, Stephanie's uh, yeah. face. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there was a character in Emphis Nest game uh, that I did as well, uh, and it's an amazing. Uh, so if you if you know Jake Lunt Davies, uh, oh, he's he incredible. Helped, yeah, he told the story as well that um, his daughter came up with the original mm. design for this character. Yes, with the... the Horn and everything like that. Yeah. 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 That was you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We've been fortunate. We've got to do a lot of Jake's stuff. Mm. Um, his designs. The crab droid was Jake's design. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, that's this, right. this character was... Um, yeah. I, I've been fortunate. I've done a Jake's char- one of Jake's characters in every movie. Pow was his one. Mm. Bummer Dan. Thalassar. But, um... <laughs> Thalassar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys just claimed him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So that character was uh, in Emphasis Nest uh, Gang. So, yeah. That's um, so cool. Just one of the people in the background there. And so yeah, that was that was the other thing. And, and it was fun, wasn't it? Because the Emphasis Nest Gang. They. Now I don't know if this was this was made. I'm not sure if this ended up being part of the final film or was made clear in the final sort of edit. Mm-hmm. But I think the idea initially was that we would we would see Emphasis Nest all the different characters kind of if you looked for them if you were careful you could spot them in the background in different shots because yeah. he because that guy you shot in the in the original scene uh oh, in the, at the beginning of the film in the airport in the sort of in the imperial kind of um oh. checkpoint control area he was there wasn't he yeah so he was in he he's was... somewhere there in the background yeah yeah but but wearing was he wearing a no that's when he no, wasn't wearing that's his mask, when he was wasn't he? That's wearing when he was... a mask yeah, yeah. But then for Emphasis Nest, he was he was wearing yeah. a mask. It was really lovely. They built this amazing see-through visor mm. and then put a hood over it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tease vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fort Ventura, by the way, was cold. It was really? so when like really? when you watch those and you see, you know, like. Uh, you know, I was reminded of it. I, t- I took my son to see. It was his third viewing, actually, his third nice. time that he'd seen my my second time. Um, and when it gets to the bit when they're in Fata Ventura, or well, in, when they're sort of on the um, what is it like? Where are they, where are they taking it to have the stuff um, refined? Haven't they? I don't know what, what that area is called. Sever- yeah, Severin. There we go. You got it, Brian. Um, I try. And, and I, I think I think the two. I, I think Han and it might be Beckett, but they're standing talking, and, the, and their costumes oh, yeah. are just like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, it reminded me that that was there was no added special effects, you know. Oh, really? Going at all. <laughs> that, that wind that was real. Was the wind, you know, like <laughs> oh, like Fort Ventura was, and then so, <laughs> it was so windy. I, I was I was such I, I was such an amateur for that shoot. Like we've been out to Abu Dhabi, <laughs> obviously on the Force Awakens, and in my mind it was like we're going to a desert environment. It's going to be really hot, so I hadn't really brought anything sort of to keep me warm. Why and would you? <laughs> I'm freezing for like two weeks just horrendous. absolutely freezing i've never known it wind like that it was yeah. it didn't stop for like 12 days that we were oh. the first 12 days we were there it didn't stop in the <laughs> evening oh, i like, remember talking to libby and the beginning of the second week going, it feels like torture yes <laughs> yeah, that's right it was like it, it was did. torture like, it was like like one night the uh the wind was blowing so hard brian i mean like literally it 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 bent the palm trees in our hotel yeah. room like almost like like it was ridiculous. Wasn't it? You just hear that you're shuddering, your door shuddering when you're trying to sleep. You'd wake up, it's still windy. You'd yeah. get onto set, and you would just have sunglasses and the neck scarf on because the wind was just like you couldn't even walk on the beach. Like it was like getting exfoliated on the yeah, beach, like, like in your legs. <laughs> sand. Yeah. So you just cover up and you just have this wind like. How many of us had sand in our eyes or had to go to the nurse because we had sand in our eyes? It was just like, oh, my goodness. No. For like 12, 12 days, for like the first two weeks we were there. Oh. And it was like the last two days. And then it just stopped. That and was then, done. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I've just had one of those moments where I've just been listening to us, and it's just like, can you imagine people going, "Oh, oh, poor <laughs> them. oh, 
Oh, you got to go to Fort Ventura. I was shooting solo for two weeks. It was so windy. Oh, it was really windy. And the wind got in my, the sand got in my yeah. mouth and under my nails. <laughs> it was so tough. Oh, I had to go to the nurse. So much. We need to check ourselves, don't we? We need yeah. a reality check. Derek's uh, right. We need how an dare you guys have a ban? First of all, problems. First of all. It is pretty funny that it's the desert scene that you're like, no, not as nice as it seems. No, because you just don't no, think but, that. But stunning, it was um, Beautiful. it's oh, an, an area of an outsta- of outstanding beauty. It's um, I believe what there, it's like a national park or something, I think, isn't it? I think so. Um, yeah. again, that genuinely, and we are very fortunate because you know, working on this particular franchise, we have been to some extraordinary places, and yeah. we often get to shoot on locations that aren't open to the public. Right. Um, and that particular one, I don't think is open to the public, is it? So, I think it's no. essentially it's like an area. It's like a stunning though. Am I right in saying that I think because all under our feet there were all these sort of fossilized um, pieces of um, oh, uh, was, wasn't coral there? and yeah. stuff like that, weren't there? So I think it is like it's like a protected kind of site. Yeah, yeah it was um, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that is yeah. awesome. And very fitting, really, because, I mean, the, the tone of Solo is very much uh, oh, a space yeah. western. 100%. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. And so, and, and that, you I mean, know, like, you... how many times in the movie did we say every day at Bradford, the lighting? Like, yeah. oh, my goodness, Dude, the lighting. What a genius. Beautiful. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, an ama- just lighting, like, the Sabak scene was, to, or the, the whole barn, you mm. know, that Mimban and stuff. Like, oh, really, I really, I really. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. I mean, one of the best shots of the whole movie is the introduction to Beckett, explosions, sand, whatever, oh, and then just a oh, gunslinger oh, in the middle yes. of it. I was like, oh, this is the best. He's it's so, so cool. cool. I, I absolutely love the Beckett character. Like, I think Woody Harrelson does an amazing job with him, and you see, you know, in that relationship that they that they build between Han and Beckett, you you see you see this the sort of the the development of the Han Solo character. You kind of go, this is this is this is who he is. You know, this is where I've got all this right. Even even I mean, you know, literally and figuratively, even in that moment when they're around the campsite and Beckett dis- disassembles that that gun and hands and it's Han the DL forty four. It's, it's pistol, oh, yeah. And it's like so you know, good. And it's like literally it's like beckett hands kind of this this mantle down to this young kind of rascal or rogue mm. i think it was i think that was a one of my favorite aspects of um same of the story it's amazing that was one thing that i was very surprised at like fans you know how we we have we go in with our preconceptions mm. not not the best but when you go in i was like you know woody harrelson's like one of my favorite actors but can I see him in Star Wars? Am I going to be able to suspend the disbelief? And obviously mm-hmm. the conversation around Alden and being Han. And I was amazed at how quickly. I was like, well, dude, it's Han Solo. He nailed it. And then Beckett, I was like, it's Beckett. I don't even see Woody Harrelson. I see it's Gunslinger. It was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. they're really good actors. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. Was so good. And it, uh, yeah. And they, they were... They were having a whale of a time, weren't they? As well. Yeah. Like, do you remember we were, do you remember we were in the crowd room? Now, for some reason, we had. Did we have? I think we had to listen out for a cue or something. So we had on that particular occasion, we had the sort of the audio feed in our ears. Do you remember? Yeah. And every time they called cuts, like Tandy Newton and Woody Harrelson and all, they were all just having yeah. the best time. That's they so were cool. having the best time, weren't they? They were like they were cracking jokes left, right, and center. It was yeah. great. So, and you and you you got a sense of that camaraderie, I think. Sure. Like that came across on screen to those characters. You could sense that they're, you know, that that sense of them being a team. I think really that got, played out really well. Absolutely. Yeah. And I remember when I talked to you, Tom, last, you talked about how as the movies have gone on that you've worked on, you guys have picked mm-hmm. up like new skills. You know, like with the caretakers, mm-hmm. you started messing with that. And then here, you worked on an animatronic. Were there anything mm-hmm. else new that you guys did in this that were like pretty cool? Well, I suppose, I mean, it would be the, f- I mean, I did, I, unfortunately, I didn't end up getting to shoot on the stilt walking droid, but, but that would be, a, that was another element. I mean, you know, I've done, I've done, uh, I've carried a load above my sort of head on stilts before for, for, for a performance, but, but not on screen. Um, mm-hmm. And I think, you know, yeah, there was a sense of ambition about that, about bringing that new skill into that forum, about, you know, going, okay, you know, it's one thing, it's one thing, you know, using stilts on a, on, on a soundstage where you know that it's got a flat surface to walk on. Mm-hmm. When you put that on the exterior of the Spice Mines, where the floor was very uneven, and also 
uh, the terrain was was populated by these kind of bubbling kind of pools. So you know, one wrong foot, and you know, you're you're either gonna yeah. yeah if, you, if you're going That's down, you're, you're yeah, you're sort of it's not going to be good. <laughs> so there was yeah. So I suppose there was that element of bringing a new skill set to play. Um, I don't think for me there was anything else other than as we discussed having to actually look at Derek while performing, which was which was quite unnerving. <laughs> the but apart from that, uh, how, how, about, how about you? What, was no, I anything? think I just sort of. No, because other than the Crab Jordan and Six Eyes and uh, the other, I forget the character's name and emphasis, and that's mm. pretty much. Yeah. That's the lovely thing about the Star Wars world for us is it's like going home. It's like a comfort zone where it's like there, it's a really relaxed environment to learn some new techniques and learn new mm. skills. Sure. Um, and if you're not doing that, then you can just sit back and have fun and relax and ease into it because... You sort of know the people, you know the crew, you know the sort of the lay of the land. You can just get on with it. Mm. So I think for for me, solo was very much a relaxed environment. I didn't really have to. The only other, the only thing I was mad at was when we were in Fort Aventura because Tom was doing the the Mac. Yeah, that meant that he didn't ever have to be in a suit. Oh, <laughs> fair, fair. It was, it was, he's here to see you. Go to craft whenever you want. Oh. You can go to craft whenever oh, you want. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I go and get free coffee. Yeah, yeah. The sort of the, the, the three mile walk to craft. It was yeah. so far. <laughs> and because they're the lock offs as yeah. well, like you couldn't get back. It was, yeah. If you went to craft, yeah. it was so far away. It was like a, maybe a 15 minute walk away oh. to get 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in the sand. <laughs> but because they were shooting two units at once, they're usually doing wide shots. Which yeah. meant once you got there, you were about two hours because you, you weren't allowed to go back because you'd be walking through a shot. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you had to weigh the cost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or if you had to go to the toilet, oh. you're like, mm, right. yeah, open a little bit longer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I do love yeah. that you guys work together on another creature. It's just, yeah. it just feels yeah. right, you know? just feels right. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. taking it off for... That's for, great, isn't it? And we've I done think, it for every know, movie. We've done it for every movie now, which is which is great. And, um, you know, and, and you know, if if we were to be involved in the next one... Yeah, if they invited us if back. They invited us back. If, we, if we were to do something together on that, that would be kind of cool, That'd wouldn't it? That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'll call so. my peeps. I'll hook you guys up. Can you, can you, can you sort this out? I can't. Yeah. The pigeon is on the way. Yes. Sorry, yes. <laughs> oh, normally I hate pigeons, but on this occasion, I love Because you're pigeon. allergic to them, obviously. Yes, yes. <laughs> all, all winged creatures. Yes, I'm right. <laughs> all creatures, Especially let's be honest. Angels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, why, that's why you have to do Star Wars creatures. <laughs> that's it. That's the only, the only We've established you're not this. allergic to Wookiees, so we just assume that's... it carries to every creature yeah. in that galaxy. <laughs> it does, yes. It, extends, it basically extends to every, every yes, furry creature in the Star Wars galaxy, yeah. Fair. So, hey, I could have some pet Ewoks, couldn't I? Oh. I already do. I mean, <laughs> <do>. little guy. <laughs> my... <laughs> because it's referring to my son. That's right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He would make excellent Ewoks, he wouldn't walk, he? He walks like an Ewok. He walks like an Ewok. <laughs> he does, what do you mean he walks like an Ewok? <laughs> He's, got a, little He's he, got a little shuffle. Does he walk? Okay. All right. All right. You know. De- Derek is only he's only a rod for his own back here because when I, <laughs> when I relay this to my son, my son already knows Derek as as crazy Uncle Derek. It's like he's like, what the crazy one? <laughs> and I'll just be like, and I'll be like, you know what the crazy one said? He said that you walk like an Ewok. <laughs> no, his face will just be like, okay. It's payback time. He yeah, opens a drawer, back. pulls out a bat. What else? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So just get ready, my friend. Yeah. It's coming at you. Right. It is yeah. on. It's on. But... It's on. Ewok style. That's right. He'll right. be jumping out of trees, That's throwing right. spears He'll at you. He'll come to visit and He'll just be... go, oh, I forgot how to use the toilet and just pee everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> When you try to correct him, he pulls out one of those slingshots. Slingshots, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Like two logs that come and just like hit you in the head. That's right. Yeah, like, it's like Home Alone. Shot. Yeah, come on, come on. We're we're working with this. What do you got? Yeah, you got, right. just we've been throwing Ewok references out there. What have you got? Help us plan your demise, Derek. None of, none of the Ewok peed anywhere in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. That was not a method. Do they have tri- of they fighting have tri- the stormtroopers? Tridents. Tridents? Tridents? Tridents. Tridents. <laughs> they don't have tridents. Ewoks <laughs> don't have tridents. They have spears. Well, they should. They don't have tridents. <laughs> what are you thinking 
Oh, I can't even think of water on Endor. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of how you would have got to Tridents. Like, <laughs> He's oh, up in the God, game. The spear. <laughs> <laughs> I the spear. Yeah, yeah. He's got a Trident. <laughs> I want to find one Ewok with a trident now. And you're like, Derek was right. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Let's talk to our peeps and let's just see if we can somehow sneak an a Ewok. Let's, do you know what? I really feel that Kieran Shah would be down with this. Yeah. I think, I, you know, I think he would be really up for, for doing a, 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 an trident. Ewok with a yeah. trident. I agree. Let's get together. Let's make this happen. <laughs> I mean, you guys were a siren. Pretty much anything can happen now, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I I'm mean, at... the sea cow should have had a trident, right? That would be wicked. Yeah. yeah. Fair, you know. I'm actually, I'm recording with Robin tomorrow. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, so oh, fantastic. So I've reco- oh, that's great. I've recorded a, a different show every day this week. So I'm oh, just like, I'm killing amazing. it. Killing it. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, Rob, well, I'm sure Robin will have loads of stories for you. But you know, you know, we were talking earlier about Fallen Kingdom on yeah. the kind of the, the, the snapping of the of the head. Well, that, that's Robin. That's Robin. Is it really? Yeah, Robin was operating the head on on blue. So oh, I'm bringing it yeah. up. <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, and he did a couple of other little cool things with with yeah. Jared as well. I won't I won't ruin it because you haven't seen it yet. Sure. Did... <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. We're talking. In code. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was got good. good story. That was a good thing. That yeah, happened. and he's, he started on Gravity and yeah. just listing off his CV now, his, CV. his resume. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. But you guys got to yeah. go catch a flight. We've got an hour. We do. Guys. Yeah. Oh, we do. You guys are we do, we do, we do. the best. Ah. I, great. You, your episodes are the ones that I recommend to people. When they're like, oh, look, should ah. I check out your show? I was like, Tom Wilton, Derek Arnold. Ah. Listen to those yes. and you'll get a feel. You guys are favorites. I'm cutting that out to make everyone else. You're going to have to cut that out. You're going to have to cut that out. Guys, this this has been super fun. I'm so glad we can make it work. Oh, man, thanks for getting up so early your time, man. That that sucks. For you guys, anything. So remind people. I didn't didn't think about that. Is it really early for you, Brian? Is it super early? It's uh, 9 a.m. now. Yeah. Oh, wow. He he started recording at 8 a.m. You did well, Brian, to be recording at 8 a.m. I would be all theory (laughs) eyes. Sort of blah, blah, blah. My, my mouth wouldn't be operating mm-hmm. ah there you go i had co- co- i had coffee like and then i had tom wilton and Darren, and those three hey. combined perked Boom. right up but have a, good, um, have a good chat with guyver tomorrow yeah i'm so excited where uh where can people find you online oh so oh well um uh, yeah. that's good well so we so twitter twitter at yeah, tom twitter. k wilton uh derek actor d arnold yeah actor d arnold that is correct we're on Instagram. We don't post a lot on Instagram. No. We're Tom and Derek. Oh, yeah, we've got the driving, driving haven't we? We've got Tom the driving. Tom and Derek's driving or driving. something like that. Yeah. We it's... don't even know. <laughs> you know Ryan, we should know how to advertise ourselves better. I so, agree. Um, <laughs> yeah. At some uh, point, we might... Tom and Derek's driving Tom on Derek's Instagram. Driving. Which is the second longest Instagram handle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> but yeah. more, more driving is coming. You've teased it. There's, there's, it's there's coming. It's coming. We promise you. I'm going to keep I'm keeping you on it. Because I'm won't that guy. Be hanging for too long. We've got a little bit of a break. Well, actually, you don't. I do a little bit of a break in the schedule. So, um, yeah, we're going to get some editing done. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. This was great. People need to check you out. And... Awesome. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you enjoyed it, stop by iTunes, give it a five-star rating. It really does help push the show to the front of the algorithm so that more people can find it. Uh, If you'd like to follow me, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff as Jedi Brian. If you'd like to follow the show, it's at Pod of Interest on Twitter. Also, I finally broke it down and made a Patreon. Yep, I did it. (laughs) If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash jedibrian. On that note, special thanks to Chris, Ben, Jim, and Daz. Your support means everything, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Until next time, be well.